Only in one week, in just one week, I managed to quit every single social media that I had. And after that week, I managed to have the mindset that I never ever needed social media ever again. Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, I had all of them and now I have none of them. I'm gonna show you how. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. First of all, I hope you've been good. I hope things have been all right. Look, social media, it is everywhere. It is everywhere. It is gonna be almost impossible to have this mindset that I wanna quit social media. You see, the moment you mention this sort of idea of quitting social media, people start to view it as weird. They will start to look down upon you. You know, when people have come up to me and they have asked me for my Snapchat, I turn around and I'm like, I don't have Snapchat anymore. I used to, but I literally just quit. I just literally just deleted it. And they're like, ugh, brother, ugh, what the, what the fuck, what, what? You don't have Snapchat? Whoa, it's a fucking ick. People look down upon you for not having social media. How messed up is that? It is so normalized that it's, that's the normal. That's weird. In my opinion, that's weird. Even though I know that it is, it is everywhere. I know that social media is so relevant. But do you know why you should quit? And why this tiny little bit of information will make you want to quit? Because you are worth so much more than what social media makes you feel like. Social media, without even realizing it, it is so discreet, so minute, so hidden, that you don't even realize that it's mes messing with your mental health, that it's fucking up your mental health. It is, they do it so smartly and so discreet. There are many, many people who spent a long, long time figuring out how to make Instagram addictive, how to make TikTok addictive. They are really, really smart with how they made it. And without even realizing it, it's messing and destroying your mental health. And especially your mental image of yourself. And the thing is, it is so minute that we don't notice it. However, you do know it. Deep down, you do know that it's messing up with your mental health. And if you clicked on this video, that, that is literally proof. You know, if you think about it, you know, social media, right? Instagram, TikTok, you are comparing yourself to not 20, not 100, not even a thousand people, to millions of other people who are the best of the best. Not the average, millions of people who are the best of the best. You know, you're seeing like, what was it, gym, gym uh, content creators who have got insanely good physiques where they post only insanely good physiques, where they're having a good pump. They don't post on their normal days, but you're seeing that across Brazil, the United Kingdom, United States, Asia, you are seeing this from literally millions of other people who are doing the best of the best, and you're comparing yourself to that, to that many others. Now there's healthy competitiveness, you know, healthy comparing, and then there's unhealthy competitiveness, unhealthy comparing, and that is what social media is doing to you. You are comparing yourself to so, so many other people who are pitch perfect well they post that they're pitch perfect even though that obviously we know that they're not we obviously know that everyone has bad days but then you forget that sometimes so when you do see others you're comparing yourself to the best of the best all the time to loads of other people who aren't even in the same country as you so what does healthy comparing look like imagine you delete its instagram right I, even better right Imagine Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, even YouTube, even this platform. Imagine social media never existed. Just never ever existed. How would we compare? How would we compete? We wouldn't have millions of other people at the touch of a button to compare to. So who would we compare to? Friends, family, what's that like, 20 people? You got your friends, you maybe, for example, for me, my gym buddies, going to the gym, that's like three, four other guys. When we compete, we're like, all right, yeah, we're competing against each other, yeah, but that's also, we're also bringing each other up to lift our best, to get that best physique, to lift that best PR. We are competing, yes, but we're also bringing ourselves up to compete to the best possible physique that we can. Yeah, we're going against each other, but we're also performing at our best. 
And that's only because we're competing. If we weren't competing, we wouldn't be performing at our best. And that's only with five, ten other people. That's healthy competing. Yeah, we're going against each other, but it's not fucking up our mental health. <laughs> if you're competing with 20 other people, less than that, family, friends, it becomes healthy. You start bringing each other up. Think of that with girls, right? You and your couple other friends. One of them starts, you know, trying to look a lot better, trying to get better with makeup. So you try start getting better with makeup. You try start getting better uh, with um, doing hair. I, I don't know what women do, so I don't know. How the fuck am I supposed to know? <laughs> but you start competing a little bit. But in doing so, you get better. And you're comparing to someone who's like you. You're not comparing to someone who's only posting the best. You're gonna see your friends' down points. You're gonna see their high points. This is healthy, healthy competing. You're comparing in a healthy way. Imagine that. Life after deleting social media. Let me go through the things that will happen, right? Coming from experience, you're gonna be hella bored. Now that doesn't sound too great, now does it? You weren't expecting me to say that. You are gonna be bored as shit. <laughs> you're gonna be bored, but you don't wanna go back to social media. So you're gonna look for other things to do. Mainly stuff outside. Maybe you'll start thinking, you know what, maybe I'll go on a walk. Shit, I actually kind of enjoy walks. Maybe I'll try going for a run. Oh fuck, I actually really enjoy going on runs. I now, it's now a habit of mine. It's now a skill. I go on runs. Maybe I'll start going to the gym. Maybe I'll start reading that book I've been putting on for a long time. Or maybe I'll start that business that I've been putting on for a really long time. Well, putting off, not putting on. You start to do the other things of your life that's nothing to do with social media. Stuff that you've been putting off because you're bored. <laughs> but you don't want to go back to social media because you know how much it's destroying your mental health. You are worth way, way more than what social media makes you feel. Go out, go outside, climb that tree, step in that puddle, grab that stick that looks like a gun. This sounds almost childish, but can you imagine how happy you would be? That big fat smile when you climb that big ass tree, which you haven't done in years. Like, what was it? The other day uh, at the skate park, there's a tree and a kid, like quite young, was climbing to the very top when we saw him. And we were like, damn. And his dad had the best reaction. He came down and he gave him a full on high five and he was like, hell yeah, you got to the top of that tree. All right, we're going to go higher next time. The kid was so happy, so psyched up. The dad was doing really like, it's like him up as well. He wasn't sat there like, ah, come down. Nah, I'm pretty sure the dad almost went to join him as well. What's wrong with that? Why on earth do people look down upon that? Ooh, brother, ooh, why'd you, why'd you delete social media? The fuck? <laughs> What's wrong with it? You do you, man. I've, 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 I got a bit sidetracked, I'm not gonna lie. I went on a bit of a tangent, but I'm passionate about this. <laughs> you do whatever the fuck you want to do. <laughs> don't, don't give a shit about what other people say about you. If you want to climb that tree, go for it. I'm gonna climb a tree now. <laughs> not this one, this one's dead, this one's broke. I hope you things have been good, and I hope you've been all right. Another video will pop up in the corner, and I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on this one, because this could help you out, just like this video has. And if you're not subscribed to me, then there's a high chance you will never find this channel again. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent, and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, self-improvement kiss. Mwah.